What do you need to forgive? What actions, words, or thoughts? Who do you need to forgive, including yourself? If you want to forgive, it's likely because you want to free yourself from a situation in which you are harboring feelings of hurt, anger, or another form of suffering. Forgiveness, and think of it as two words here, forgiving. Forgiveness is for giving yourself the freedom to let go of the past and whatever has happened, including what you or others have done, that is not a true portrayal of who you or they are. Forgiveness is for giving acceptance to what has already happened and what you have no power to change. You only have the power to live from the present moment. So here are a couple questions for you to contemplate. Are you ready to experience the release of your hurt and suffering? Have you been telling yourself that you have forgiven another or yourself because you very much want to, but in thinking about past situations, do you still feel all of the same hurts, sadness, or anger? Do you know that you can forgive completely? So let's begin with a new way of thinking about forgiveness that transcends all world religions and is the most direct path to inner peace. Forgiveness comes from love. Love for another or yourself needs to come first in place of what hurt, anger, blame and suffering you have been holding on to. Huna, the Hawaiian word for secret, was an ancient Hawaiian discipline of energy and healing. Ho'oponopono is a practice of forgiveness and reconciliation. It consists of a mantra and visualization exercise as a form of spiritual cleansing. The people who practiced these techniques and teachings knew that all power and all force emanated from the One, the source of all, all life, all energy which in Hawaii was called Ayo. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Practicing Ho'oponopono allows you to lovingly sever connection from that which no longer serves you. Perhaps you want to release yourself from the pain of an old relationship and make space for the new. Or find forgiveness and renew an important relationship in your life. Using the Ho'oponopono can also assist you in your journey to your best life, healing your relationship with yourself, letting go of baggage, and finding peace and forgiveness within. Here are the five steps to liberation and freedom. Number one, visualize the individual or the situation with whom there is unfinished resolution. Hold that image in your mind.
second. Imagine there is a cord connecting you to the other person or situation. Third, hold this individual or situation in your mind's eye and at the same time envision your hands. In the left, you hold a torch. In the right, a pair of scissors. Here there is an option to connect with your highest self. Envisioning white, healing light streaming through your soul star chakra, several inches above your crown. Channel that energy downward through your sixth chakra, the third eye or Ajna, as it is through this chakra that we are able to forgive ourselves and others. Fourth, while repeating the mantra, I'm sorry, forgive me, I love you, thank you. Envision yourself cutting the cord that ties you to that which you wish to forgive. With your right hand, cut the cord. With your left, apply fire as a cleansing and cauterizing element. Repeat this visualization several times each day for a period of up to 40 days. You will want to regularly experience whether you still carry the negative emotions associated with the person, a situation, or with an aspect of yourself you wish to heal. Some healings and forgiveness will be easier to complete than others. With a heartfelt investment in this practice, you will experience an ease to which you feel about what you wish to forgive. I'm sorry. This is recognizing and being accountable for any thoughts, feelings, or actions that have spurred negativity in your life. As you say, I'm sorry, take responsibility for your actions, thoughts, and feelings, whether to another or towards yourself. It can be most powerful if you are clear in your understanding of what you are sorry for. For example, I'm sorry. I realize that I am responsible for the issue in my life and I feel terrible remorse that something in my consciousness has caused this. If it is towards another, be specific about what you are sorry for. Please forgive me. This is a request you are making to yourself and others through your higher consciousness and your ability to recognize when you are not living as your highest self. Repeat these words several times as you feel remorse and as you ask to be forgiven.
I love you. This is you aligning yourself with the energy of divine spiritual love. This is the ideal, pure love which everyone has in potential. This could also be said as step one of the mantra. Say I love you to your body, to universal consciousness, to the air you breathe, to the house that shelters you. Say I love you to your challenges or people who are less kind towards you. As you repeat these words, feel their meaning deeply. There is nothing as powerful as love. Thank you. The expression of gratitude for the chance to cleanse oneself from any wrongdoing and feel forgiveness towards others. Repeat these words of thanks towards yourself for being the best you can be. Thank God. Thank the universe. Thank whomever it was that just forgave you. Be thankful fully and completely. If you are not certain of who or what you are seeking to forgive, you may wish to use the practice as a means of allowing your highest self to reveal this to you. This can be achieved by using the four statements of the mantra as a visualization meditation to assist in identifying what and with whom you need to forgive. You may do this as you repeat the mantra whilst simply observing what images ideas, and emotions arise. You may also use this visualization meditation as a written practice, as you journal your impression for what needs to be forgiven. As a journal writing exercise, let this help you identify that which needs to be forgiven within you. Repeat the mantra, and as you do, make a list of everyone and everything that has ever been done to you, that you harbor negativity or resentment towards, or cannot forgive. It may help you to think chronologically, beginning from childhood, and identifying experiences that were traumatic or unjust, and to which you may carry negativity self-criticism, or any form of suffering. Consider your earliest interactions with family members and others, and hurtful comments, embarrassing moments, times when you failed, times you wronged someone, and any earliest work situations that were less than favorable. Choose any one of these to focus on as you repeat the mantra and feel the remorse, forgiveness, gratitude, and love fully.